During this climate week, JFK Airport announces construction of a new massive solar panel project aimed at reducing greenhouse gases. Once complete, it'll be the country's largest such facility at an airport. John Diaz has the story. It's a new plan for a new kind of airport. John F. Kennedy Airport has started construction on its 12 megawatt energy system. The solar panel array is being built on top of its new Terminal 1. The solar panels have a huge role to play in the energy transition, and projects like this one are a huge opportunity to generate power on site. The massive array of 13,000 solar panels will span nearly seven football fields, and experts say its state-of-the-art resilient design will provide electricity for the new terminal's daily operations. In an emergency setting, could pass some of that back into the grid to have a benefit for emergency services in a disaster setting for local residents. Officials say the new Terminal 1 is a key component of the Port Authority's $19 billion transformation of JFK. The Port Authority Executive Director is saying in a statement the, quote, massive solar array is a unique and innovative solution that reduces our carbon footprint and continues our march towards net zero. And they're improving the air quality around where the solar is actually sited because you don't have burning going on, so you don't have pollution. And when it comes to the future of airports, experts say some of them are having a hard time keeping up with demand. You have more passengers coupled with aging infrastructure. Which is why many in the field believe JFK will be a shining example for other airports looking to upgrade, especially since the price of solar has come down. And given the cost and the economics of this, I could see this happening all over the country. Or possibly all over the world. John Diaz, CBS News, New York.